This isn't exactly prop related, although it is a little bit. I want to talk about something that I enjoyed when it was on and since they've come on DVD, enjoyed it again. Now, you may have heard of this, you may not have heard about this, but I want to talk about FX, the series. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. This is sort of prop related because, well, this is a show about a prop master, special effects guy. I watched this back and it was on the air uh, in 96, 97, 98. Um, it was great. I loved it. And the funny thing is, I thought it was really cool about the things he did. And then like another nine years later, I became a prop maker. So that's part of it, I think. Also, he's really cool into electronics and, and making things move and all that stuff. And I do that now too. So maybe it was kind of, I saw that and thought, hey, this isn't so bad. So this came out of the uh, the two films. So you had uh, two of them. You had FX and FX2. Oh, great naming there. Um, Brian Brown. Um, Brian Brown? Yeah, Brian Brown and Brian Henney. And uh, they were fun. They were, you know, great. Then they decided to do this in 96. Uh, this uh, starred Cameron Datto. Uh, Australian, obviously. Christina Cox. Beautiful woman. Carrie Ann Moss, Kevin Dobson, uh, he just died recently, which uh, brought this back into my into my view again. I just watched the uh, the first episode on the weekend, and it was just great to see it again. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin Dobson was in the first season, second season. He went on his way, and then Jacqueline Torres uh, came in to, to do it. Basically, it's sort of like the movies, but not. So Raleigh's a special effects guy, and he works with the police using his special effects skills to, you know, get them out of precarious situations. You know, I like it because I made, you know, a shirt. Uh, I also even own TylerFX.com. And that's all it is. It just there and does that. Which was in the show. Anyway, it was cool. And I like, what I really like about it, it was filmed in Toronto. Uh, the opening credits, you actually, it pans up to the Phantom of the Opera that they had at the Pantages like forever. Uh, and you can tell it's in Toronto, uh, as he shows from the scenes you see here's Toronto. In fact, he had this big rig he drove around in, and it was an old TTC bus that they painted and retrofitted and everything else. So it was a lot of fun to see that in hometown. Much like when I watch uh, The Titans. I know where that hotel is. I know where that is. Uh, other shows like that, uh, the, the Discovery is filmed in Toronto. A few things are being filmed in Toronto right now. And I have a good friend, a family friend, who did uh, location managing for years. He was in Prom Night. And he also did like big stuff. Like he did all the location stuff for a little show called Ready or Not. Also did it for a movie, Three Men and a Baby. Anyway, um, so a film in Toronto, it was really great to see. And it had some fun things. And it sort of wrapped up on a bit of a downer. And it was like, eh. But most shows do that. A lot of the shows I like, the, you know, especially when they get, you know, season two seasons, I like. And we didn't get renewed. This one, although, had a really good reason for not getting renewed. One of the producers was Dodi al -Fayed. If that name sounds familiar to you, that was the gentleman who died with Princess Diana. Uh, he was dating her for a little while, and he died, and, well, no more producer, no more money, no more show. I think they had enough storyline they could have gone to a third season, but then when he was gone, he, but that's, well, what are you going to do? So if you haven't seen this, it's definitely worth checking out. I do believe, that actually, it's on Prime. Uh, a lot of the shows I like, some of them are showing up on Prime, like Earth Final Conflict, again, filmed in Toronto, uh, is on Prime. A lot of the shows are showing up on Prime, and if it's not, you can find these DVDs anywhere. Like, these are going to be on, on Prime to buy quite easily. And they're fun. They're fun. You know, he has a really cool way of doing things, and the effects are really interesting. And you look at it and go, yeah, well, that's a practical effect, and that's a practical effect. Yeah, I can see how you can do that. Yeah, I can see how that would work. So if you're looking for something fun, it's kind of like escapism. Check it out. There's a really good stunts as well. Like, you know, uh, uh, there, I think the second episode, a huge rollover effect. I think they did like six rollovers. And they show you how they set it up. Also a cool thing too, this was, you know, in the mid 90s when PDAs were all, you know, the rave where you had your Palm Pilot. He had a really big PDA that he used. Obviously it was just a prop, which I did see one at a Toronto prop party. I've got some pictures of it. Well, I've got it. I will eventually recreate it. I'll uh, design it and, and uh, print it. I just need to get my 360 muscles going. 
Anyway, it was the be all end all. It was like the MacGuffin, it handled everything. And nowadays you can do all that with your phone and your all that stuff. So it was really very, very ahead of the curve for all that, like even on the camera for doing video conferencing and things like that. So really cool in the fact that they was almost was predicting the future. So if you like that sort of thing, check out FX the series, man. It's great. And two seasons, you can get through it, you know, in a week. If you have both DVDs, well, both sets of DVDs. Uh, this is season one, season two, obviously. So this is like a young Carrie Ann Moss before she really got noticed. She didn't, haven't done a lot to this point. And like I said, Christine Cox, is, she's been a great Canadian actress. And uh, Cameron Dado has done some great things as well. So that's the video today. Like I say, not terribly prop related, but it's sort of prop related because it's about a prop maker. Also, on a small note, uh, the day I'm filming this today uh, is my 25th anniversary. So yes, believe it or not, someone has put up with me for 25 years. Actually, we've been together for almost 30. But anyway, that's just me. So that's it for today. Hope you're having a great day. And we'll talk to you all later.